Well, here we are at the Pleasure Armour site, which is the opposite end of the seafront from the port. And just like the port, it's dirty, it's run down, it's an eyesore. In fact, for the past 20 years, this site has created an atmosphere of dereliction and run downness on what should be one of the most busy and popular bits of our seafront. For the past 15 years, the Pleasure Armour site was supposed to be the location of a major development. 107 luxury flats, a 60 bedroom hotel, but nothing ever happened apart from the construction of some foundations in 2010 by the then developer SFP Ventures. Now because of a very strong public campaign, the council was eventually forced to sack SFP for not progressing the development. But that was a big mistake because what they ended up doing was replacing one bunch of cowboys with another bunch because they appointed Cardis as a developer and in 2016 Cardis went bust. And just days before Cardi went bust, the managing director of Cardis, Michael Stannard, helped the former financier of SFP Ventures to purchase this site from Thanet Council for £3.3 million using money from an offshore Panamanian company owned by Colin Hill, Binto Group Incorporated. The question must be asked, what is Colin Hill going to do with this site? Well I don't think Colin Hill or any other developer is going to build anything on this site. They've got this site for land banking in my opinion. Well I think Thanet Council and Kent County Council should try to compulsorily purchase this site but not use it for hotels or flats. And here's why. Because there's absolutely no market for 107 luxury flats and a 60 bedroom hotel on the Pleasure Armour development site. And if you don't believe me, here's the proof. This is the beach retreat development. It's uh, 500 metres from Pleasure Armour. Two and a half years ago, this development went on the market. Seven luxury flats at 495,000 starting price but if you go on to the land registry website you'll find out that only two of the flats have sold so after really heavy marketing and you can still see the for sale signs behind me after really heavy marketing over two and a half years these flats did not sell so how on earth are you going to be able to sell 107 luxury flats on the Pleasure Armour site? It's just not going to happen. I believe if Fanny Council and Kent County Council could work together to get back control of the Pleasure Armour site through compulsory purchase or perhaps some negotiation with the owners, the land should be used not for flats, not for a hotel, but for leisure purposes, we could have picnic areas, we could have children's play areas, we could have bars, cafes, we could have a big bandstand for events and festivals, uh, we could have a state-of-the-art skate park for, for youngsters in Thanet, and we could also perhaps open the wartime fervent tunnels which are on this site as well. And also a leisure based leisure armour site could complement all the other developments that are happening around the seafront right now. Like the Ramsgate Tunnels. Like the Weatherspoon development at the Victoria Pavilion. Like the refurbishment of the old motor museum. Like the port of Ramsgate which many people, myself included, believe should also be a leisure focused area. Just imagine with the right ideas, the right leadership from our council and politicians, how exciting and thriving the seafront could become. It could generate millions of pounds a year for the local economy, it could create hundreds of jobs for local people, it could create training opportunities for youngsters, it could create business investment opportunities. I genuinely believe 
that the pleasure armour site holds the key to the regeneration and reinvigoration of Ramsgate Seafront.